Welcome back. Uh, I decided to continue my series on free BSD and virtualization in general. Uh, and I'll split the longer videos into smaller chunks, uh, each self being self-contained with its uh, own descriptions and instructions and the goals, what I want to achieve. And from now on, I'll try to keep my videos as short as possible on the related topic. And, but with the reference to a previous videos or instructions required, for example, if you skip a couple of videos, you won't be able to, you know, to keep following if you do a prerequisites, uh, usually watching like the previous videos. So in this case, I decided to cover once again, uh, uh, FreeBSD virtualization as a host on the host. So basically what we need to do is a couple of things. Thing number one is, um, you obviously need a FreeBSD installed. In my case, it's FreeBSD 13.0 current. Uh, that's number one. Number two, you need the the CPU that's, that has a virtualization and it's uh, it's capable of running uh, these virtualized environments. Third thing, uh, what we need to do is we need to enable uh, VMM kernel module. And uh, how we do that, you can basically open and look for the FreeBSD virtualization and type Beehive. And that's the technology that we're going to use on the FreeBSD and that's our hypervisor that we are running. So in order to prepare the kernel module, make sure you load VMM kernel module as a root. So okay, it says uh, can't load VMM model already lo loaded uh, or in kernel. Uh, I already loaded it, so that's the reason why. Uh, you should not run this manually every time you restart your computer. So what you should do is you should go to VMM, uh, actually to Etsy, uh, rc.conf and to KLD list, create if you don't have that uh, variable equals and VMM. In case you have uh, so in case you don't have this list created for first time and just type VMM. In case you have it, like I already did, I had AMD GPU driver running. Uh, so I said, I just added like space and VMM, that's it. So next time you restart the computer, you will get uh, this module loaded automatically for you. So next thing we need to do is will need VMB Hive. Uh, the reason why I use a VMB Hive, it's really, it's really nice, a nice management system for the Beehive virtual machines. And uh, I definitely suggest starting from there. Uh, so we need to properly install it. In order to install it, type uh, package install VM uh, dash Beehive. Uh, if you want to run, and you probably will need to, you will run a Linux environments or like virtual machines that require Grub as a bootloader, install Grub to Beehive. Uh, there are a couple other things you can install. Uh, you can install the Beehive firmware, but it gets, I think, automatically installed into a, uh, when you when you install VM Beehive. Anyway, these are the three packages we need. I already have them installed. Anyway, I'll just say, keep installing them one more time. Great. So we are done with the step one. Step two is to create uh, to create your uh, data set uh, where your VM uh, hard drives, uh, virtual hard drives will be stored. So if you blindly like follow these, uh, these instructions, you might end up, I mean, you shouldn't just run these commands, make sure you understand them. So first one obviously installed VMB Hive. The second one creates the ZFS dataset uh, called VM on the pool. And here we need a pool name. So in order to get your pool name, just type ZFS list. So pool name in my case is zeroot. So I type ZFS create zeroot slash forward slash VM. Uh, it already exists. Uh, that's why I have this uh, error warning message, but it is just fine. Uh, next thing you want, you need to do is you need to go to uh, to your 
etcrc.conf and make sure you have these two lines added vm enable equal yes and vm dir zfs column vm so basically this enables uh, beehive uh, this is the place where virtual machine the hard drives will be stored virtual hard drives will be stored and that's it you just save and exit I strongly propose that right now you restart your machine. So after machine is restarted, you should have your modules running, uh, Beehive modules running in the background. You can check that by typing uh, KLD stat, and then you can say grep VMM. It's running. Next thing we need to do is we need to do initial initialization uh, of uh, VMB Hive. Just type as a root, make sure your root VM init. Uh, next thing we will copy all templates. Yeah, you see now this is uh, the, you should you should not just copy paste this. This can be really dangerous. Uh, what you should do is you should just do uh, create a directory called mkdrp zroot vm and the name of the directory should be called templates you can just run this command uh, let me first show you what's here inside that's not my advice don't do that uh, here we have the configuration for all possible supported uh, operating systems that can be run as a guest. My strong uh, strong advice is just don't copy this. Uh, skip this part, but make sure that uh, zroot VM templates directory exist. Then create the virtual uh, switch. All right, and here is one more thing. There is a uh, error, fail to add member EM0 to, EM0 to a virtual machine. So it's not, in my case, it's not called EM0, it's called something else. How you can find out, you just type EF config. And in my case, that's uh, IGB0, and that's my uh, Intel gigabit uh, Ethernet card. So instead of EM0, you just say VM switch at public IGB0. And now I should be fine. Uh, this part concludes uh, installing, setting up Beehive, installing VM Beehive, and uh, creating the virtual uh, switch. In my next videos, I'll explain how to install and run virtualized Beehive guests, such as Arch Linux, Alpine Linux, FreeBSD, and possibly others. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Goodbye.